An independent monitoring program that will oversee nickel and copper operations in Marquette County is seeking board members. TV6's Anna Samoska taps into the details and joins us now with more. Anna? Steve, the Community Environmental Monitoring Program needs a five-member board to operate and officials are now turning to the public saying community involvement is key. Officials from Rio Tinto's Eagle Mines say independent monitoring programs in mining are rare but necessary. There are quite a few components of this that are unprecedented and through this the, the, the Upper Peninsula is setting new standard in uh, community oversight of modern mining. The Marquette County Community Foundation and the Superior Watershed Partnership have agreed to provide oversight and problem solving for the program that will monitor nickel and copper operations. Superior Watershed Partnership wants to see this happen because we all live here in the Upper Peninsula and we want we want clean water, we want clean air. They're now seeking community members to serve on its five-person board. Once they're appointed, they'll be volunteers and uh, they'll oversee how the program is run, how the payments are made. Uh, they'll invoice the mine twice a year for the mine's uh, contribution to the fund. The ideal candidates will have mining expertise and knowledge of environmental science. The foundation will appoint the chair, and they've also asked the Kiwana Bay Indian community to appoint the fifth board member. Rio Tinto isn't only open to the idea, they're funding it. The company has agreed to invest $1.2 million over the course of three years, starting this January. Officials from the MCCF say Rio Tinto will not have authority over the program, but it will supply their own data to the watershed. And if you're interested in applying, head to our website, UpperMichiganSource.com. Community members are urged to apply by November 1st.